Welcome back. Welcome to day five. Five, that's right. We're going to remember to pull the story out this time first. Okay, Mateo, I'm just checking. All right, we'll read the story and then give you the synopsis. So now you've been transported to another place, to Moritzburg Castle, and everything is decorated as if Cinderella could s step into the mirror ballroom at any moment. And then um, it says, if Santa hadn't asked you for absolute secrecy, it would be about time to contact a few scientists. This village and the magical doors of the half-timbered houses really need looking at by a specialist. Anyway, right now you're all alone here, and if that's the case, you think to yourself, you might as well enjoy it. Brazenly, you try a few waltz steps on the sparkling clean parquet. Ouch! You almost slipped on an invitation card decorated with a heart. You quickly pick it up. If you're lucky, it will help you on your quest. And there's just um, a riddle card. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty. Oh, ah, there comes the lid. the lid. There's a mirror. There's a mirror at the door. No, oh, just the ceiling. Okay. Invitation to a dance in the mirror ballroom. And this shows a, a, a house. And two rooms are crossed out. Does it look like one of the rooms here? The mirror. Houses here? I thought at first this drawing of these houses was this, but it's not. It's not the same. And there's nothing in the room. I mean, yeah, I don't we think looked there in is. and we looked in the room, and there's really nothing, nothing there. And Jenny noticed that mirror was in bold. So we feel like we already have to look at the <laughs> first clue. We were doing so well yesterday. And see, the heart is half red, half green. I see green smoke right here. Oh. But I don't see. And here, there's also smoke over here, and that's kind of red. No, that's more yellow. We're, that's more smoke colored. This is definitely green. That's green. That's the only spot where I see smoke is coming out of. It's, here. it's interesting how they said how the houses need us to be looked at by a specialist. Like, they just kind of casually said that. Nothing's casual in this game. No. All, it's all plotted. All right, so... You and I will look at the clue. Where you are. And tell Jenny a clue. Oh, Riddle E card shows you a fancy dance invitation. Sweet. There is even a two-tone heart painted on it. The two red crosses are also striking. Is that a picture of a village in the background? Hmm. Isn't that the village you know from the cover of the advent calendar? Oh my! Oh, from the cover. It's from the cover. It's crossed off here and, and here. here. And red and green make blue. No. No, red and green make purple. What do red and green make? <laughs> Nothing makes red and green. Oh. Why would this be red and green? But yeah, I know. Yeah, so it's this. It's crossed out. In, along with this part right here. And there's smoke coming out, and there's a cat. Cat. There's, and there's blue smoke there, but there's red smoke. So we're looking here. for numbers. Green smoke we're looking, here. Yeah, there has to be numbers somewhere. Okay, let's Wait, go to the second. Maybe sec we have to look at a mirror. Let's go to. Let's look at the second one. Okay. It shows the village that's on the outside of the advent calendar. The two red crosses mark two places on it that you should look at more closely. There is some impressive craftsmanship involved in the half timbering of these houses. Oh, and why is the word mirror highlighted? Look at the cover in the mirror. They are incorporated into the framework. Do you recognize a message? The frame? Wait, they're incorporated in, the, in this room? No, on the cover. And I'll let you see what it says rest. Look closely at the details. 
So we're going to try looking at the cover with this mirror. So there's something that says something here. I'm trying so you have to, to look in the mirror. Out. I see and R then, A. And then look here. There might be something here. What does that say in the mirror? So this, Jenny pointed it on the side. This says books, B O O K. Okay. And this is. And this says backs, B. Point it. B A C K S. The backs of the books. Does it mean this book? No, no, the backs of these books. Wait. Where's like, your book? Where's the other book? Oh. Oh, here. You have it. Oh, it's the red and green. There's red and green. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There has to be numbers somewhere. There has to be... Is it? No, that's... Wait a minute. What is the crew say again? Backs of books. Okay, so now we're in the backs of the books. You never know. There has to be a number. So if you read the third clue, then it's like, oh, it's so obvious. Do you see the numbers? You didn't connect them right. Two, <laughs> Good two four, one. That was hard. We were doing good from yesterday. <laughs> Let's see. The code is <laughs> two, four, one. <laughs> that one? Six. Okay. Six. <laughs> Let me double. Yep. Darn it. <laughs> That was hard. Okay, so what did I thought it was this picture? So we did need to know. I didn't even think it would be on the cover. And then you had to know to look at these two that are crossed off. You would have to know to look at there. We needed in a mirror. I, I guessed the mirror part. Yeah, the part mirror. I guessed. Oh, that was hard. For those of you who are wondering, Jenny and I went up to Shillington and we were at the Shillington Goodwill. The last couple times we were here, we really didn't find anything. And so I told Jenny, maybe we'll stop going here because it's, it's a little bit of a drive. Gas is still on the expensive side. And if I'm not finding anything, it's not really worth the time and money to get there to not find anything. But it changed my mind <laughs> because we walked away with quite a few things on this trip. Right now I'm in the beginning, the front of the store, and this one area was really empty, so I don't know if they were transitioning, putting things onto those shelves and they hadn't got to it yet, but on the other side of the shelf, they had a whole bunch of floral vases. Look at this. Look how pretty this looks. I thought this was really pretty, all the different colors, how they have them uh, arranged. I thought that jug was funny, how it said thirsty on it. Someone had put some artwork here with some reindeer antlers, so I was seeing if that artwork was anything that really grabbed my attention. And then I stepped back to show you, look how pretty. Oh, it's so pretty though. Oh, I might take a picture of that. Here's all the Christmas stuff. Look at these girls. You had me at meow. What'd you find? Aw, who's that? I have no idea if it's adorable. It is adorable. Jenny found the cute thing. I could tell that this jar had quality by the weight of it and also the design reminded me of Lennox. And then when I flipped it over, it in fact was Lennox. This Lennox is more contemporary. It is made in China, but I thought this was really sweet. It does have like a ring on the, bo the bottom of the lid, so it's airtight so your cat snacks don't get stale. And that there's, there's no chipping on the fish, which is a small miracle in itself. You need a um, Christmas tree holder five. for your Christmas tree. One, two, three, four, five. Good counting, Jenny. Mm. Who's your teacher? <laughs> Let's see, and underneath the plates was, oh, those are from Target. And this is cute too. Look at with the little angel girls. Aww. That's oh, it's um, party light. Oh, that's sweet. I might look that up too, because they all have their wings. So we'll look at those. Let's put them in for now. Let's see what else. There's a lot of stuff on here. Oh, here's a wooden. These are some candle huggers. They're not very old though. That's just the end cap. Let's see what else is over there. There's a 
the dog in the light. Jenny's gonna keep her eye out. She found this cutie pie. I have no idea who it is, but she's adorable. Look, you can have three staring Christmas carols. They're freaky. Look. Move out of my way. They're like right on top of each other. That's so funny. They're only $1.99. They were made 1972. If you kind of tone down their staringness, they wouldn't be that bad. Looks like it's t taste temptations, tastations. This temptations. It's only $3.99. There must be something wrong with it. <laughs> Smith and his leg. The one leg -like fairy. Fairy. With one leg. With one leg, yes. This is a cute little light someone did. There's a bag of goodies. Look at this one, it's called a do dangly do danglies. Shelf sitter. And then here's a vintage Santa. It's a little tiny Santa in this little tray. They had a whole bunch more Christmas than they usually did. These, This was a very clever idea, I thought. Someone had stamped these and embossed them and then put them in frames for Christmas decorations. I thought that's a clever idea. A good use of frames and stamping and you could change them out season to season, holiday to holiday. This was interesting that it was brown. Usually you see Christmas things are red, green, light blue. But that was brown. Jenny didn't know what this was so I was telling her that it was a coconut that someone had made into a face. And then now you can tell we are in the blue section. A lot of things on the shelf. They had some Easter up top here, and this basket was pretty. I uh, thought about it, but then I put it back because we're in the winter mode, not in the spring mode. And then when I put it back, I noticed this piece. This reminded me of Yankee Candle, and I had picked up a Yankee Candle lampshade like this before, it was purple purple glass and this obviously is orange and I thought gosh this looks like Yankee Handle I wonder if it is and I did Google Lens the shade and the shade comes up and the plate sometimes comes up so I think that this is Yankee Candle if you know for sure that it is please let me know reassure me <laughs> that my research was correct I was afraid all of that tape was going to take all of the paint off it does not I do get this and I clean up the shade. It is really, really pretty. You'll see at the end of the video how nice it turned out. Here was a whole bag of wax roses that you could float. And then here was a little kit for family slippers, a crochet kit. I thought that was really sweet, a great price. I think it was only, yep, $2.99. Back in the day when I did crochet and knit, I would definitely have had to open up this kit to feel the yarn to make sure it wasn't squeaky. There's nothing worse than, than squeaky yarn that you're working with. I thought this was pretty. You could use it as a table decoration or hang it on the wall. And so I put both of those back because I wasn't in the market for those. And I thought this looks like a Teleflora and it turns out it was a Teleflora basket. This was really cute, but it was missing the roof. Someone put a lot of effort into that plastic canvas you could put napkins in it is what I'm telling Jenny. You could still use it even if it was missing the roof. whole bunch of teddy bear mugs. And then we had just seen this. <laughs> we had just seen this the other day. Bruno. Oh, Jenny. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, we don't get to learn much from that. No. I'm not that good of a singer. I thought that was funny because when I looked at the set at the other Goodwill, I didn't even look at the name of the ringmaster. So his name is Bruno. I thought this was cute, very vintage. It looks like she's going to go out horseback riding with that hat. And then here's another purple hobbyist piece girl with hanging down things. I don't know, maybe she held salt and pepper shakers. I'm not quite sure. Here was another Yankee Candle shade with the plate. But I'm pretty excited about the Halloween one because the Halloween ones sell for pretty good money. Then I thought, well, this looks like Laurel Birch. And then I flipped it over and it is Laurel Birch. It's a cat bowl, a cat, or like a food or water bowl. And I found similar ones with the cat faces, but I can't find the ones with these cat angels. Now the paint on top was obviously almost gone. So when I brought it home, I did take the rest of that paint off and I think it looks pretty good. And inside it, that, that inner bowl is a hall, H-A-L-L, -L, little ramekin. So win-win, two for one. So I 
decided to get that because laurel birch is pretty popular and i thought it was it would make a cute little trinket dish or you could use it for your cat or very very tiny dog $2.99 it's a pretty bowl <laughs> Oh, those are plastic. Wow. I thought they were glass. Oh, there's another doggy. Huh. Does that go with the other dog? No, Oh, okay. Let's look at the end cap here. Oh, that is giant. $6.99. It has a home goods thing. Oh, here's a child's plate. Little Miss Muffet. That's sweet. Royal Beirut, Bavaria. That's sweet. It has a lot of wear right there. It's neat too. Oh, it has a chip. A chip there. This is nice. This child's plate for $1.99. Oh, what's that? Oh, a rack pack. You have mini, um, you can make chickens and corn and croissants and potatoes and mashed potatoes on the bottom shelf was this long plate at first i thought it was plastic but then i realized it was not i like the colors that they chose for the eagle on the back of it it was marked made in italy i thought that was a neat looking plate and then in another area was this glass peacock which unfortunately had lost its face which was a shame because look how pretty that blue is it was in great shape <laughs> besides not having a head it was probably a Hobby Lobby, maybe, or a Made in China piece. I don't believe I was walking away from Murano glass there. <laughs> Not at all. But it was a shame that it had a big chip on it. Here is a look for you at the red section. There was a See how there's a lot of things on the shelves, but uh, not a lot of things that I am looking for. These were neat. They, were, they had bundled these. They were glass. So they weren't pricing them individually, which was nice. And then here's a look at the pink section behind us. This was a little Mary hobbyist piece and it was $2.99. And then Jenny realized that she was stepping in something. We thought, where's that from? And then it was from this hourglass. It was some kind of sand mixture. So they just hadn't gotten to uh, clean up the rest of it. So we tried to avoid making more of a mess. This was really pretty, this picture. It had a contemporary barcode sticker on it, but I thought the design on it, it had kind of that Ray Dunn look of how it wasn't smooth, but I thought that bird was very, very pretty, but I didn't uh, pick that up. And then here I'm just being nosy and checking everything out on the shelves for you, <laughs> since you're not here to flip things over with me. Let's see. Our little Hera. That Scarlet O'Hara. It is Scarlet O'Hara. A Franklin heirloom dolls. Someone walked right in front of Jenny. He was like, "Excuse me." And he looked at this, and it says the potting. I think it goes on your um, in a plant. That's really cute, though. Little gecko. He's in good shape for $1.99. Sweet. Should we get them? Ooh, this is like mine. My tart burner. It's that kind of like blueberries. They do. They're like blueberry cranberries. They haven't decided. I got mine in Vermont on my honeymoon. Mine is blue. Oh. Jurassic World. I've only seen all the stuff beside the actual movies. I know. You haven't seen the movie. I think you'll I like the movie. I haven't seen any of the real movies. That's funny. But you know all about it, it's just kind of funny and you've never seen it. I know. Spiced apple, let's see if this smells good. Hmm. Doesn't really have a scent left in it. Let's see, what else can we find? Not a whole bunch in the yellow section. There's a bag of goodies. This says Italy. Oh, it's a... Um, I know, I think we smell food, and we're hungry. We're gonna go to the Mexican restaurant after this to get some tortilla soup. It's like a bag of stuff. Look, there's a bat-shaped pumpkin. Oh, look, and it's upside down. <laughs> that's clever. Oh, it, you lay it down this way. Oh, that's cute. 
is cute. That is cute. You're finding all the cute stuffed animals today. <laughs> this is cute too. Another happy face. Teleflora. Oh, it's like a hat my grandpa would wear. Traveler. Country gentleman. British imports. That's cute. <laughs> You're finding all the stuffed animals. <laughs> you are finding the cute stuff. This is cute. The I've looked at these before and people say these are for toothbrushes. These aren't for toothbrushes. These are for flowers. I guess if you're from a big family, you could use it as a toothbrush holder, but it is not a toothbrush holder in my mind. I'm finding all the cute stuff. You are. You're finding all of the cute plush. Here is a set for $11.99. You get all of this. I wonder who makes it for $11.99. It's not marked. Look at all that. Are these birds? Or wheat? Not quite sure what's going on there. There's a whole bunch of cherished teddies. And then that kind of looks like a wreath. I guess this is a wreath. Is this Fitz and Floyd? It is Foot and Fitz and Floyd. $9.99. That's in good shape for Fitz and Floyd. Too big for me, but that's really pretty. Here's a goose. It says, I love you. And a hat. Is this a wall pocket? I think we've looked at this before, and I was confused before what it is. What's down there in that bag? Oh, it's um, yarn for hook, hook rugs. Looks kind of wobbly. There's some pottery. It's like a student piece. Pineapple. This dog looks sad that its owner's head has become decapitated. Counts this roost these roosters are on fire. That rooster's on fire. This looks old. Oh, it has a crack. That's a shame. It has a crack all the way down here. But that's really pretty. That might be Royal Copley, maybe. Maybe. There's nothing really in that box. Here's um, some cream soup bowls. These are P and G. And then this, I'm going to guess, is false graph. Yes, it is. But it has a chip here. Thing. I wanted that, but it has a crack. Another dolly. Oh, that's sweet. Is that? Oh, it's a dog. I didn't quite see what that was. It's a heart. That's cute. Oh, I bet it had a lid. I bet this had a lid. I bet this was like a garlic keeper or something. The record player. Dad's kid's head fell off. Oh no. <laughs> Aw, that's so sad. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's a little funny. It's a little funny. It's a neat old uh, record player. Oh, and your records. All the records. Just there, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. No, I just, oh, I just has learned a big it. Chip. I want to go to school. I'm done. Yeah, Jenny was just learning again about it. It has a big chip on the back there, right there. Conk. That's kind of a neat trivet. Oh, look at this puzzle. That'd be fun. Windmill puzzle. There's some uh, plates. This is old. Reverse painted bowl for $4.99. It has lots of surface wear on it. That's been around. 
and more china. This is whole stacks at uh, $9.99. And let's see who makes that. That is the gallery collection. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, it's Avon. That's a pretty figurine. Avon 2006. Very pretty. This is very old. It has chips all around the edge here. It's only $2.99. Do you think this glows? No. She doesn't think it glows. I'm not going to get it because it's all chipped, but I'm going to see if it glows. Oh no, Jenny was right. Jenny said no. She's right. And the last thing that I picked up was this pottery piece, and it was marked on the bottom. And at the time, the name didn't seem very familiar to me. And then when I got it home, I thought, wait, this does sound familiar. So I put it in the good old uh, Worth Point app. And this is the same maker as those hand warmer mugs. I'm going to insert a little footage of the hand warmer mugs that um, you've probably seen before. I've picked them up before. I think they're really neat, the style of them. But I thought that that was neat that I picked up a crock or a jug or whatever you want to call this piece. This is going to wrap up our trip to the Shillington Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed our shopping trip. And like I said, because I picked up things, of course, Shillington is still going to be in our shopping rotation. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see ya!